Local bakers are making special days stand out with some of their over-the-top creations. Heather Lake is live in Fallbrook to give us another look. Heather, you got the Friday feels around here. By the way, lovely wearing red. You look beautiful in oh. red. Lady in red is dancing with me. Oh, so much. Yeah, I don't know if this is this is red or rust or whatever color you would call it, we'll um, but we have it. lots of red creations, right? Valentine's Day right around the corner. By the way, I have died and gone to heaven, found my happy place. We're going to talk about Space 110, where we are this morning, but first, I want to introduce the baker. You are amazing. So you make cakes, you do catering. Obviously, this year has been a little bit different, Natalia. Very um, different. But you're with Little to Lose, so this is kind of your idea. We've got some really cool videos, too, to talk about all of this. When I was watching these videos, by the way, of you decorating these cookies, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting arthritis just watching this. I mean, it, is, it is quite the deal to be sitting there doing this meticulous work, but there's people all the way from celebrities to just local people um, wanting to host a get together again, small one, okay. Um, but you're doing this. So tell me a little bit about your bakery and what you do at the Little Lulu's. This came from your mom, right? It did, yeah. So my mom is the main inspiration. Um, she is the one that taught me how to bake when I was a little girl, and she is just has shared this passion with me ever since. So when I went to culinary school, that was kind of the main focus. Um, but on top of that, I've just always loved art. I love design. I cannot remember a time where I wasn't painting or drawing or anything like that. So when it came time to choose what to do, basically, I said, let's combine both and let's go to culinary school and create this edible art career. I love it. The video that we're seeing is um, you making these really cool cookies too, yes. the San Diego ones. Yes. Uh, how long does that take you? I know we did a time lapse video that was like, a couple minutes so yeah. I wish that it was actually in that real time these <laughs> cookies are so time-consuming the thing about cookies is that you know you have to bake them you have to lay that first groundwork down essentially and then you start the painting so I think 24 cookies of this would easily take you six to eight hours it's insane you're, but get, you're getting ready for Valentine's Day so you have these really cool boxes that are going out um, over the holidays these cocoa bombs became really popular so I actually awesome. talked to a local mom who started baking at home and she actually did really well over the holidays, which was great for so many people who, yeah. you know, their jobs have changed this year, career changes. Yeah. Um, for you, now you're making something that just like makes my ears perk. So we're <laughs> coffee bombs and like chai latte bombs. How does yes. this work? Okay, so we definitely had to elevate it. The cocoa bombs were for sure trendy, but we thought, you know what, let's lose it up, right? So the chai is made with our homemade chai mix and just a shot of espresso in there, instant espresso. You can either pop that in coffee or milk, however you want to take it. Um, the mocha is the same. It has a shot of espresso the little mocha the white mocha has the white mocha um, I'm sorry the white chocolate syrup in it as well so it's basically all of your favorite pick-me-up drinks you know but we you, we had to do it Lulu style for 2021 I love this and these are cheesecakes cheesecakes so the little hearts have cheesecakes and chocolate on top and all of this you're doing delivery boxes yes okay yeah so these are actually all online right now and they will only stay up for the next couple days they'll get down on Monday so you definitely have to put your order in now and the cheesecakes are our most popular they like are so good I'm not even gonna lie um, they're just super rich they're super creamy and just people love them off my menu you know it's so easy so um, yeah, we just, we, we go with what we love, you know, we want to stay fresh, we always, always want to stay with the local ingredients, and we only use cage-free eggs, things like that. I know that you, um, you worked in LA for a little bit, you had some really fun jobs there, and now, what made you want to just kind of do San Diego and stay here? Um, you know, San Diego's my home, so the goal was to go to culinary, go learn everything I could do, and then come home and start the company. I love it. Okay, we're going to send it back to the studio. I want to give you, Shelly. Um, I know you love cooking and you love hosting. We're all missing. We're missing like hosting things, right? Like yes. okay. I know you are. Oh, <laughs> you don't yes. even have to say it out loud. Oh, yes. You're like, I want to host. I want to host big events. Yes. If you ever get the chance to, again, you can actually don't even have to get your house messy. This place is really cool. Just opened up in Fallbrook. Okay. And when you can start to host parties again, look at this. You can sit here. <gasps> okay. And here. Okay. I know. Isn't it beautiful? There's an outdoor space. There's a kitchen. Ooh. So you could do dinner parties. It's so pretty, Ooh. so glorious. We'll even sit Raul. Raul, you can sit here. How many Here's Raul's seat at the head of the table. Maximum. We'll get your little, your little furry throne. Oh, I thought you were saying my seat was like that shot outside the window that you just, like, yeah. I'll sit out there. Raul would like that. Oh. <laughs> how many people? How many, how many people? people? So when, um, depending on, on COVID restrictions and whatever you want to do with your party, you can do 40 inside, and then they can open up the entire outside and do 80. Um, at some point, and so hopefully all of that will That's, change. This is called okay. um, Space 110. It's right on the main street in Fallbrook. Super cute. Okay, I'll have to check that out. 80 is a good number. 80 is a good number.
Do they do the cleaning? Do they clean up? <laughs> like you just do your thing and you just shoo. Do you do you clean for us too? Yes, we do. Yes. I like oh, that. <laughs> Game changer party time. Heather, thank you.